This segment is brought to you by Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego. Just a short drive down the Yellow Brick Road. Hello, friends. I'm Ernie Rodina. And I'm Don Dawson with the Better Horses Radio Show right here on Ag AM in Kansas. And we're here with the Horsing Around segment, having a great time at the high school rodeo finals in Kansas here at Topeka. And look who we got hooked up with. Sean Hollenbeck. He is the uh, director, national director, for the high school Kansas, representing us at, on the national level. Great to have you here. And what a great event you put on here. Well, thank you for having me. We're real excited. Every year in June, we look forward to coming up here, and you, every year it happens. So tell us a little bit about what the High School Rodeo Association is all about, and how do you get it all together? Well, it's a, I mean, it's a year-long process. We, um, we have five weekend rodeos in the fall and five weekends in the spring. We try to go through the whole state, have, have a rodeo, um, kind of represent the east and the west. Um, you know, and we have, the, currently we have around 170 members, which is That's freshmen great. through seniors and stuff, and they have to have, um, be in good standing with their school and with our association, and they're eligible to compete in any event. So they, they actually attend as many rodeos as they can, accruing points through the year, and once they get to the state finals, then what happens at that point for qualifications and where, what's the goal? The goal is to make nationals, which is in Rock Springs, Wyoming this year for the second year in a row. And um, yeah, each state, there's 48 states, four Canadian provinces and Australia will be attending this year. And the top four from each event go there. And I mean, it is, it is a show out there. It is, and the competition is extremely tough. I mean, it's, it's next year's NFR or upcoming years in a far crew. I mean, the talent is unbelievable. You know, you, you look at this high school rodeo finals and you look at, it's organized all the way around. Thinking of going into the fall, and let's say whether it be a, a, a young lady or a young man wanting to get involved in this, and I want to get on this and go the circuit with the high school rodeo. What's their, what's the uh, a route they need to go to get involved and start going to maybe the fall rodeos this, this fall? Well, pretty soon um, our rodeos will start in the probably late August, early September we'll start it. But at any time up until then, um, you can get on our website, which is khsra.net, or um, go to nhsra.org, which is the national website, and that'll give a link to each state. And um, just fill out a few, some paperwork, and um, we'd love to have you. And Sean, you know, the, the, we've had some successful, huge successful results from the Kansas High School Rodeo with some of the kids that have gone on to the NFR, your wife being one of them, Marty. And uh, so who are some of the other kids in the area that have done that? Well, currently, I mean, last year, Will Lowe, he was a former Kansas High School Rodeo bareback riding champion and a, now a world champion, many time world champion bareback rider. Um, Jeff Collins, um, Shani Scales has been to the national finals in the barrel racing along with my wife. and. Um, you know, it's just fun to watch who, who's the next one is going to be. Well, the level of competition is just tremendous. We ha we've had a lot of folks from Kansas represented at the Nationals and, and done a real well, a real mm -hmm. good job. Yes, Kansas always holds their own. I mean, they're always in the top six, seven. I think we ended up seventh last year on boys and girls last year and sixth overall. So um, Kansas always holds their own. I mean, Kansas is tough. So Sean, you're the director for the Kansas National High School Rodeo Association and you represent us at the, across the country. Tell us a little bit about that role and how you got it. Um, it's kind of an appointed deal. Um, Jerry White served for 15 years as a national director and did a wonderful job and um, just kind of fell into it. Uh, not a whole lot of people really want to want to do that and it takes a lot of time. Um, I'm kind of a several of us behind the scenes coordinate everything throughout the year and I'm just part of that and my job at each rodeo is to just oversee that the national rules are followed and you know just kind of be part of the state board. Well we really appreciate you being around the horse and around segment this is awful fun to talk about the high school rodeos and you're doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Hope to have you on again next year keep us up to date. Folks thanks for being a part of the horse and around segment right here on Ag AM in Kansas. I'm Ernie Rodina and I'm Don Dawson we're with the Better Horses Radio Show T check that out too. Tallgrass Commodities offers producers bulk commodities at a reasonable price with reliable service throughout the whole Midwest. To find out more about Tallgrass Commodities, visit tallgrass.us or call 785-494-8484. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet Supply. 